Hi everyone, a uh, little snack size video here for you today, a uh, very quick short one. Um, so some people I know um, wanted to know how to make your third person character um, an, uh, an over the shoulder character. Okay, so this is the default character in this little world I've made. Um, and by default, it will position the camera directly behind the character. So, and um, it will keep it at the same sort of distance and location about behind the character. Now, if you played a lot of games, this isn't actually accurate to what you see in a lot of games, uh, especially uh, like third-person shooters like Gears of War or well anything really. Uh, they kind of offset the camera a little bit, so it's just over the shoulder of the character. So I thought I'd make a very quick video to show you how and where to find out how to do that. And it's very, very quick and easy to do. So all you do is you go to your third-person character here and you've got your viewport of your character here so quick explanation of the various components you have in this character you have the capsule component which is inherited from the character blueprint and it's simply just a collision of the character itself you've got an arrow component to just do uh, basically show you which way the characters can be facing um, it's just for our purposes as the game designers the mesh is its mesh so the actual character itself and but more importantly we have the camera boom and the follow camera so the follow camera is just a camera and the camera boom is what we call a, a spring arm component okay so the spring arm component is like a big stick basically that you have sticking out and you can attach things to the end of it so at the end here i've attached it by making this a child of camera boom um, all you do to make a child of a spring arm is you just drag it on top of um on top of the, uh, the spring arm okay oh. There we go. So, there we go, changed too much. So, if you've just got the third person character template, like so, with the camera on the end of the spring arm, um, you can click on the camera boom spring arm here, and we can find an option on the right hand side in the details panel saying socket offset. Now, socket offset controls the offset of this camera, okay, and moves it according to whatever we type in. So I want my character to be just off the shoulder of the main character. So it's this green arrow is the direction I want to move it in. And green is referring to the Y, which you can see in this gizmo in the bottom left hand corner. So I click on the camera boom and on socket offset in the Y, I'm going to move it 120. And there you go, the camera moves just off the shoulder. And it's still attached to the player, it'll still move the player. Um, if I click compile and then play, I get a much more realistic um well much more common look of what the character looks like in most video games um if you want to raise it up a little bit higher all you do is change the z value of the camera boom socket offset to be i don't know let's do it by another 30 compile and play yeah and if i want to bring that in a little bit closer i can change the target arm length as well so i can change that to 150 Get up right close to the player and i've got a much more personal third person action game okay um and i thought that'd be a quick video to show you guys how to do so uh, thanks for watching uh please subscribe and like this video um i've now got a patreon channel up so you can uh, support me and my future videos by subscribing and donating whatever you feel like you want to donate so thank you very much and i'll see you next time